Hello everyone, also Klaus here. And today, guys, I'm going to review one of my binnacle creation. And well, let's start. So first, we have the uh, pelvis part or the pelvis section of my mug, which is made with one Evo Factory bone part. You can see which is really a, which is really a specific part, which was first released in Waspix. So here it is with three ball joints and two pins. On these two pins, I'm going to link two small parts, which will also be linked to my uh, older foot right here, as you can see. Then we're going to make the upper part of the body, which with, excuse me, uh, Vaki pelvis right here. And as you can see on the back, we have this part, which will be useful to uh, hold the uh, connector for the neck and then the ball joint, which will be linked to the head. Also notice this green part with pinhole. And on this pinhole, we have this part with an axle hole at the end. And on this axle hole, we're going to use this black parts. And as you can see here, a T-shaped part, which will also be useful. So now I'm going to use this new part, well, this new, uh, this new part, so with a glatter neck, which is linked to a uh, Inica shoulder pad, and I have used these two little parts to make the uh, part stand still, because if not, it will move away and it's not really, uh, it will jiggle and it's uh, not what I want uh, with my mug. So I'm going to link this part like that. Then I'm going to use the t shaped part to link this Borg eye. Ball joint connector like that, and finally the head quite simple. Uh, it's an older head with a trans green cocoa or a galleys canoe if you prefer. So we have our body made. Now time to uh, build the legs. Quite simple, mostly your factory part. So three bones part. Two pieces, of, two pieces of armor. Notice all the colors uh, are put because you will see the same type of color shame also on the arms. And the same goes for the shape used. Uh, for the foot, as you can see, it's an older foot put in this way and then a T-shaped part, a piece uh, like that, and then a Takadox neck. This mock is symmetrical, so this means we have Two legs which are identical, like that. Now for the arms. So the arms are once again going to use some Evo factory parts first. So these two ones with this piece of armor. And like I said, you can find the same type of armor plus the same type of color on the leg here and on the arm there. Then we have a Vaki leg. And finally, a metro foot with this technique beam. And as you can see, a Borok eye. Once again, it's to have uh, um, a shape and a color reminder between the legs, the arms, and the body. And the same can be said for the hand, which use the same pattern as the legs. I haven't used the same type of part right there to have the same type of shape here and there. And the mock is finished. So I'm going to move my camera a little. Like that. There we go. Turn around and then we'll talk about the articulation. So, in terms of articulation, first you have the legs. Because they are uh, Z shaped legs, it's quite, uh, well, it's quite hard to turn. But first you have this part which can be turned. Uh, all the way you want on the sides if you want, no problem at all. Obviously, this two version can be used to make the legs a little uh, taller, as you can see, but you can also close them like that. Then the foot can be turned here on the front, really uh, well, and the foot also works quite fine. Then you have the arms with this two ball joint. So here, this one is useful because if I didn't put this part, this part right there will be linked here and it will block on this piece of armor and this will really uh, damage the uh, movement range. So that's why I put, I choose to put this part, which you will be able to move like that, like that, and then this one, which can be moved like that. Then you have the elbows, can turn up to 90 degrees, not that much, uh, not really that impressive. The arms are free. The head can be turned on the side, down and up. And finally, you have the pelvis articulation, which can be used to make this type of weird pose, which I find quite cool. Uh, so now I'm going to do a pose with this guy. 
excuse me for the light, it might be a little too bright. So yeah, with the pelvis articulation and some other, uh, and the, well, with the overall articulation of the mug, you can really do some type of weird strange pose, which looks, uh, in my opinion, well, quite fun to make. So here you go. Like that. And I think this will be all for this month, guys. So if you have any comments or questions uh, about it, feel free to post them. I will happily read them and answer them as usual. And that said, well, hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And see you later for another video review. Bye-bye.